Did you know that Maso has a U, V and W axis? No? Well, sit back and I'll tell you what they are and how to use them. Welcome to Maso Top Tip. Now, before anyone gets too excited, the U, V and W axes are logical axes, not physical, and they relate to the X, Y and Z axes. U moves the X axis, V moves the Y axis, and W moves the Z axis. Remembering the relationship between these axes is easy. Saying U, V, W is the same as using X, Y and Z. But what do they do? On a CNC controller, there are two distinct positioning systems, absolute and incremental. In absolute mode, a move to X10 will move the machine to the coordinate X10, no matter where you are on the table. In incremental mode, a move of X10 will move to the position defined by the current X axis position plus 10. So if you're at coordinate X100, you would move to X110. Both positioning systems have their uses in G-code and you can change between them by using G-codes G90 and G91. In most programs you use absolute positioning so if you want to make an incremental move in your program you need to change to incremental mode with a G91, make your move G0 X10, then change back to absolute mode with a G90. And this is where UVW comes to the rescue. Instead of having to use three lines of G-code to make the move, it can be replaced with a single line of G-code. G0U10. To put another way, UVW moves the X, Y and Z axis incrementally without having to leave absolute mode. This makes writing G-code quicker and easier. In this example, I'm going to move to X, Y, and Z 100. I can now move my X axis forward another 10 millimeters by using G0, U10, taking it to X100 plus 10, X110. Notice that Maso is still in G90 absolute mode. Using V minus 10, I can move my Y axis backwards 10 millimeters. Y 100 minus 10 takes me to Y 90. And finally, I can move my Z axis back to zero by using W minus 100. It should be noted that UV and W only work in linear moves using G zero and G one. And now you know what they are, why not give them a try next time you need to make an incremental move, either in a program or in MDI. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications of all new top tip videos. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next Maso Top Tip. Cheers!